What is up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mariah Perry and I am back again with another YouTube video. So I haven't done an army video in a very long time. Okay, I'm new to this, not true to this, you know what I'm saying? But I'm back again. And in today's video, we'll be doing kind of like an army get ready with me. Like preparing for drill, my drill morning routine, how I do my hair, if I do a little makeup, you know, things like that. Packing my bag. So I just wanted to do a quick little video. It shouldn't be too long, but I know you guys wanted this video first before I posted my other video because I did a poll. If you didn't know, I do polls on my own community tab, so make sure that you guys check that out for future content. If you didn't know, I am in the Army Reserves, which means I go to drill once a month for a weekend and then two weeks each summer. So this video, I'll be doing my drill weekend routine. So basically my unit is literally an hour and 45 minutes away from me. So I have to wake up extremely early to make it to formation on time. So the day before I go to drill, I tend to pack my bag. So that way in the morning, I just have to do my hair, my morning routine and go put on my uniform and go. So I'm going to show you guys. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is packing my bag for a weekend of drill. And if you're wondering, I brushed my teeth, washed my face, took a shower and all that good stuff. So this is what's good. You can see in my closet, this is where I keep my army uniform. And then there goes my PT clothes up there so I don't lose anything. And there goes my army boots. Now down here, I have my military boot bag. So when you're in uniform, you're not allowed, you're not supposed to have like any colored book bag or anything like a pop of pink. It has to be OCPs or the um, digital, the digital, the digital print. So I don't like to carry a whole bunch of bags on like my Delphi and all that stuff. So I try to make sure that everything fits into this one bag. So in the mornings, I usually have my uniform laid out on my bed already or somewhere in my room. I'll usually have this out already so I can just put this on early in the morning. And then my bag is usually packed. So like I said, I'm going to show you guys what I pack for drill. Okay, so this is basically all that I have, and I like to try to make it fit into one bag. And we'll talk about civilian clothes in just one second because you do have free time after your duty day. So here I have an extra uniform. I have three pairs of socks, my sports bras, my underwear, my coyote t-shirts. Um, here's um, the raincoat and the fleece, as well as the uniform that I'll wear to drill, and then some silks just in case I'm really cold. Typically, drill is Saturday and Sunday, but I usually like to pack two to three. Well, not two to three. I like to pack one extra item of each thing, so an extra sports bra, an extra t-shirt, extra pair of socks, things like that, just in case, because you know emergencies happen. But the only thing that I don't pack three of is my uniform because it just takes too much space in my bag and it's just not necessary. All I really do is change my undergarments, my t-shirt and my socks. But as for my uniform, I'm not gonna pack an extra one. It just makes no sense to me. And honestly, we don't do enough for me to smell that bad, if that makes any sense. And if you're getting ready to go to basic training, you'll see that you will reuse your uniforms throughout the week because it just makes no sense. Like if we went to the range, I would probably wear that same uniform if I knew we were going to the range again because it's just gonna get dirty again. I like to try to make everything fit in here. And if not, I'll take my black book bag right here for extra things this is my school book bag but if i have drill i'll take my school supplies out of here and put my civilians in here as well as my as well as my shower shoes because like i said you will have free time to you know go out to eat for dinner because i know they don't give us dinner they feed us lunch and you're basically for yourself for dinner so yeah i put everything in here Sports bra, underwear, t-shirt. I mean, you can make it look nice, but for video purposes, I'm not about to do all that. But if you guys want a video on how I fold my army things, like kind of like the drawer standard of what drill sergeants are looking for, I can do that for you guys. But literally, all of this fits. I just put everything in here besides my fleece because I do like to wear my fleece, so I have that out. Let me zip it up. 
Now the bag has been packed and we can move on to hair. And then after hair, we will do uniform. Also, I forgot to mention, there is a zipper part in the front where I put my toiletries. I'll pack my toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, um, lotion, body soap, washcloths, because I don't like to use hotel washcloths when they put us on, in hotels. Because for my unit, since I live so far away, they put me in a hotel on Saturday nights. So I don't have to drive 110 miles back to where I live because that would be ridiculous. Again, for video purposes, I'm not about to pack my toiletries because <laughs> time for hair. So it's evident that my hair is currently in its straight state. If you didn't know, I am 100% natural and usually my hair is in its natural state when I go to drill. So if you're wondering how I get my natural hair into a bun, I have a video on that. I will link it down in the description box below, or you can click the eye icon on the very top right hand corner of your screen. But as for today, I'll be putting my hair in a bun as it is right now in a straight state. So typically I like to do a side part. I like side parts, I don't know why. And I like to do a swoop in the front with my hair sometimes. It just all depends on how I feel, honestly. Like this, I think it's cute. I like to look like a human in uniform. I need another hair tie. Having my hair straight is just so easier for me, especially during drill because we already have to wake up early and just doing my hair in a bun while it's natural takes forever. And I like my sleep. I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? I want it in the front, kind of in the front, like a bang. This isn't going to be perfect. I really don't care for my buns to be perfect because they typically mess up anyway because of my patrol cap, my PC. My comb some hair out or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So this is literally as simple as it gets. My bun isn't perfect. Look, as I turn around, you will see. <laughs> that literally took me maybe three minutes tops because I had to go find two extra hair ties. But this is really all I do now. If I am feeling fancy, or I'm feeling like I want to look like an actual girl during drill, I might just maybe put some eyebrows on. I might fill my eyebrows in, okay? But most of the time, I'm being realistic with you guys, I do not put makeup on. But if I do wear makeup, it might be mascara and some lip gloss, and I might fill in my brows. However, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's just lip gloss. No mascara, no filled in eyebrows. This is literally it. So now that my hair is done, I'm going to go ahead and put on my uniform and we can complete the look. If you didn't know, I'm literally extremely tall. I'm 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, so if you have worn a uniform before, you know that you need to tuck your boots. Not your boots. You need to tuck your pants into your boots. So with that being said, being tall is really frustrating because... My pants always come out of my boots and it just looks extremely tacky. But ever since I invested in these, I think I talked about it in a previous video like a long time ago. These right here are the truth. They keep my pants from coming out of my boots because it tucks. I'm gonna show you guys how to use them. I don't remember what they're called. If you know what they're called, please leave it down in the comments below so people can know what to look up when they're shopping for them. It's like whoever created it, they're a genius and if you don't have those on hand or on site or ready to go you can always use a hair tie but I feel like hair ties kind of cut off my circulation because they're too tight but I'm going to show you guys how I put them on in a second okay y'all so here is my pants leg I have my socks on and everything it may look a little crooked on the screen because it's kind of hard to film by myself I don't have a cameraman here is the I don't know what it's called, but here it is. You hook it like that, but you're gonna roll your pants up and do this, like that. 
and then you're going to tuck your pants underneath. Now it looks nice and neat. So when it comes time for me to put my boots on, do you see how nice that is? Now all I have to do is put my boots on and make it look nice and it's great. Looks amazing. So here's my boots. Also, a cool trick, if you're new to this and not true to this, you can tie a knot on the end of your shoelaces so it can keep your shoelaces from falling apart. So this is how I tie my boots like this. And I pull them all the way to the end like that and you see how they don't come undone. They're literally stuck. And then I tuck these in. <sighs> this is just amazing. Now everything is tucked in and I am good to go. Alright everyone, so that completes my drill get ready with me. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. There's really not much to it. It's just hair, get dressed, pack your bags and go. I did want to make a video because I know you guys really wanted to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are thinking about joining the Army Reserves, I would say don't do it based off of my videos. Please make sure that you do your research and talk to a recruiter, but beware. Those recruiters are kind of tricky now, okay? If you're not following me on my Instagram, please go ahead and follow me at Mariah Perry. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Help me get to 5,000 subscribers. We're almost there. Like, comment, share. I do greatly appreciate everyone's support. You guys are amazing. I really can't believe we're even at 4,000 already, but we're here and we're almost at 5,000. So please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That's really it. I'll see you guys in my next video.